Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're supposed to talk about herbal remedies for pinworms in children. I say supposed because there's really no good evidence-based literature suggesting that there are effective herbal remedies for pinworms in children. Unfortunately, the most effective remedies that we know are still pharmaceutical. Uh, mebendazole is probably the most common medication that we use. There's also albendazole and a couple of others. Knowing when your child has pinworms is one of the easier things in many cases. Your child will probably be itching at the rectum or even the vagina if she's a girl. This itching tends to get worse at night. And if you sneak into your child's bedroom at night and just look at their bottom, often you'll see the pinworms writhing around. That's really gross, but it is a definitive diagnosis. Sometimes you'll also see pinworms in the stool when the child goes to use the bathroom. Uh, many doctors will prescribe over the phone. Some will really want to see your child. Uh, in our office, we like to see children before we prescribe any antibiotic medication to them, even if it's for pinworms, even with a good story, because we still don't know what else might be going on. When you treat pinworms, usually there's one dose of medication to take at the time of treatment and another dose to take 14 days later to treat any eggs that may have hatched in the meantime. Frequently, we'll treat all the members of the family because the pinworms may be carried in multiple family members. However, you can talk to your child's doctor about whether that's a policy they want to follow or not. So, talking about treating pinworms in children uh, with herbal remedies or otherwise, I'm Dr. David Hill.